Republican presidential hopefuls are out courting some first in the nation primary voters. Nicole Songa explains how this slow simmer on the campaign trail is going. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was among the Republican presidential hopefuls working the parade routes in New Hampshire. We need people to stand up and fight back, and that's exactly what Woo! we're doing. They're courting first in the nation primary voters in a race that's been slow to heat up this summer. Republican strategist Leslie Sanchez told CBS Mornings this election cycle, big GOP donor money is funding candidates other than former President Donald Trump. You have a lot more uh, conversations behind the scenes of people waiting to see if they can really be that alternative. Among them, former Vice President Mike Pence, who celebrated Independence Day in Iowa. For me, uh, it was vitally important. Uh, to be here where the journey to the White House always begins. President Biden may look to last week's Supreme Court rulings on affirmative action and student loans to shore up some key voting blocks in his coalition, including young people, LGBTQ plus voters and black and Hispanic Americans. Those are going to be groups that are going to be buoyed, that are going to be more enthused to show up and to turn out in 2024 because of those decisions. Speaking from the White House to the nation's largest teachers union meeting in Orlando, President Biden took a swipe at Republicans. Let's stand with teachers and educators against politicians who are trying to score political points by banning books. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, the White House. And for former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, he also hopped on the campaign trail in Iowa yesterday. There he could be seen shaking hands and hoping to influence voters ahead of the 2024 presidential election. Hutchinson emphasized that his experience serving Arkansas at both the state and federal level has prepared him to take on a bigger role. He answered questions about the economy, health care and more from those in the audience. I understand we need a pro-growth energy policy. We need to secure our border. Uh, we need to make sure that America is strong. And as the 2024 presidential election gets closer, we will keep you updated on what presidential candidates are up to right here on Channel 5.